you talked about the Wildcat being uh, something that you're going to be able to implement. Do you see it more necessary when you talk about trying to keep you know Christian off the ground, trying to give defenses more things to look at? I mean, how much of that is just yeah, you know, you, you talk a little bit about what you want to do in a spring game. This is on TV. You know, you know, you know, people are watching it, so you want to run your base stuff and be true to who you are. You know, in your base stuff, you don't want to show too much, but that, at times, you know, you show something like that, it gets people to think and prepare for that situation and what might come out of that and you know so we just threw it out there we've done it a lot in the past and you know we'll still have it probably moving forward we'll see how much or how little it's time to and where do you think you are personally in an understanding of what these guys can do you know individually just a personnel understanding pretty good pretty good you know I think um, I think we got a really good base after the 15 practices of being with these guys every day and practicing with them and understanding what they can and can't do and understand what we might be good at as far as what guys are on the field. I think uh, you put in your base stuff in the spring, they have recall when we hit the summer, and you're different from year to year, and sometimes you're different from spring to summer, to, you know, into the fall. So once we get back, they have a good off-season program. We get them back in August and see who's developed and who's gotten better and who's retained what information and who makes plays is in the summers, who will eventually be in the start of the fall. And then as the season goes along, you may or may not be who you started to be. You know, that's kind of what you got to figure out to win games, do whatever you got to do to win. One of the keys with the new coaching staff, obviously, is introducing new terminology. How difficult was that for these guys? Was it difficult? And did you get done what you needed to get done throughout the spring. You know, it, it's always hard for them to learn it, you know, because they're starting from scratch. So, right. to be honest, I'm very pleased about that as far as them being able to um, execute it to a level where we think we got a chance to do some things. So that was that was a bright uh, a bright spot. They're, they're smart kids, you know, and they've been coached well here. And uh, they've got a lot of recall from being coached up in, a, in another NFL-style system. And I, and I know Coach O'Brien, I know he's done a good job as far as preparing those guys as a base. And, but we have to run what we run, and they can take what they took from him and learn what we want to teach. And they're smart, so that helps them uh, comprehend everything and be able to process it quickly. James said he was a little emotional when he first came out to the to the reception. Did you notice that in him, and what was your reaction to it? Yeah, he, uh, you know, that, that's his style a little bit. He, he's a very emotional guy, and you knew he would get touched by it. And uh, he's very happy to be here, as we all are. You know, it's it's, it's somewhat surreal, you know, because we're going through everything the first time. So the first time is always a little special, and. Uh, you know, you hear about it until you go through it, though. You know, you don't know what it's really like, and that was something neat. Were you there last night with a lot of the former players? Yeah. What was that like for you? It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. You know, it's funny because I was at um, some other spots in the past where I recruited some of those guys that came here. So I was like, you don't want to turn me down when I was here. <laughs> but uh, but uh, you, you know why they did, you know? And, and uh, I remember when you work at other places and Penn State comes in, you're like, oh, man. So a special place and uh, seeing some of the guys you you know about or heard about and seeing some of the guys you recruited in the past was pretty neat too so that was uh that was cool you guys are obviously limited in, in the contact you could have with the players during the off season in the summer how important is it for these guys to do stuff kind of on their own whether you know, passing Vital. drills whatever yeah they got to be able to work together got to have good leadership and, and guys taking charge and know what we want to do and what we've already done and kind of go from there they got to come in and watch film on their own and learn and, and uh, you know, not just completely get away from the football aspect because they'll, 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 Coach God will do a great job in their strength and conditioning program and getting them bigger and faster and stronger. And, you know, but they got to be able to still put the time in X and O wise and watching and tape and, and learning and, and keep progressing. Are there particular people you hope to step up in those roles? I mean, everybody looks at the quarterback as being that natural leader, but is it just Hackenberg or? You know, are there well, he's certain, definitely one of them. Yeah. I think we got some good leaders up front. Um, we got we got some good leaders outside. Guys normally who have played are the ones that are your best right. leaders, and we've got enough guys at each spot that have played before. They they know how to do it. They've been in those situations. They should be the ones telling the younger guys, "This is how we do it, and this is how we're going to win, and this is how we're going to move forward." So the guys that are older and more experienced are the guys that that, that should take charge now. Cool. Thanks.